Hey guys, Pastor Luke here. Thanks again so much for being a part of this online small group. And I know we're uh, trying some new things out, and so keep letting me know what is working and what isn't, and we'll keep getting uh, some better feedback and moving forward. So thank you. And we're starting our second week of our Mark study, and uh, we wanted to do you know kind of two chapters a time, two chapters in a week. Uh, at a time, but uh, last week we were just getting such good conversation out of some of the questions I asked about chapter one that uh, I didn't want to rush into chapter two or rush through chapter two, and honestly I felt a little rushed in chapter one. There was a lot of really great content that we didn't even touch on. Uh, things like Jesus calling his first disciples, uh, I made a few notes here, uh, we missed uh, Jesus calling his first disciples, uh, the baptism of Jesus, the temptation of Jesus out in the wilderness, uh, John went to prison, and uh, yeah, lots of crazy things happened. So be sure to read chapter one of Mark if you didn't get a chance to already, and just make some notes, and feel free to comment in the Facebook group if anything catches your eye. Uh, otherwise, we're going to move on through chapter two, and uh, the first question that I wanted to, to ask you about is read through the first little section of chapter two, and then I want us to talk about this story where these four guys, they carry a guy on a mat uh, who is paralyzed, and of course, we know the story, uh, we, they come to a house where Jesus is, he's teaching, and it's just crowded, like just a mass of people, even to the point where they were outside the door, he said, so picture like, you know, a house just full of people, standing room only, and then you can't even get to the door to look in. There's just so many people there. And these guys came and they couldn't get in, so they, you know, they dug a hole through this guy's roof, I guess, or maybe he had a sunlight already. And they, they lowered this person down. And of course, we read there in the story that Jesus said, uh, Your sins are forgiven. And then through a teaching moment, he eventually ended up physically healing the man that was paralyzed and said, Pick up your mat and walk. And this is an awesome story. And there's several different angles we can look at this and, and go. And I definitely want you, you guys' uh, input. There may be something. Uh, we haven't thought of yet, but one question that I want to ask, and this seems like a silly question, but I'm going somewhere with it, and I'm fishing for something here. I'll be honest, I'm fishing for an answer, uh, but I want to see what you guys say. So the question is, the first question is, why were the four men who were carrying the paralyzed friend, why were they not able to get to Jesus? Why were the four men carrying their friend on a mat, not able to get to Jesus. That's your first discussion question for this week. I'll put that in a text format in the Facebook group as well. Um, before you begin any of this though, thanks for watching this intro video to the second week. Go ahead and mention if you have any prayer requests down below in your Uversion app and then uh, we'll get started with our conversation for the week. Thanks so much guys. Uh, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 